Hi there! This video is going to be um, showing how to carry twins or siblings or two children, of course, um, with a soft structured carrier on your back and a woven wrap on the front. My twins are 11 months old, but um, you can start doing this carry as soon as you can wear one baby on your back in a soft stru structured carrier. So I think I started around four months old. Uh, you can also, I also can still do this with my three-year-old on my back and one baby on the front. So I have a boba here, but any soft structured carrier is fine, whatever you have. So you're going to put it on your back. And then you're going to grab one of your babies. If the kids are two different ages, then I always prefer to put the larger baby on the back. So this is already adjusted for me because I'm the only one who wears this carrier. Okay, so there she is on my back. Then I'm going to take my woven wrap and you can use a shorty wrap, like a size 2 for this. Um, that's what most of the videos that I found use. I actually prefer a longer wrap. Um, I like tying, being able to tie in the back instead of um, under the bum. It feels more secure for the baby and it's more comfortable for longer periods of time. So this is a size 4. So I'm going to start with the middle marker in the middle. Um, and then I'm going to take both tails. I'm going to start with this side. I'm going to thread them through the straps, making sure that it's not getting twisted. So there we go. There's the middle marker here. And then I'm going to thread this side through also. If you have a chest clip here, you go underneath. Okay, so looks like this. Um, if it's bunched up, I would, um, you know, pull the lower rail down so that it's not too bunched up. So you're going to make a little pocket. If you know how to do kangaroo carry on the front, it's kind of similar to kangaroo carry. So now I'm going to get my front baby. Hey, front baby. Come here. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to take my front baby. And I'm going to put her up here. And I'm going to take her legs. I'm going to put her into the little pocket we made. Her legs pop out of the bottom, like that. Okay, I'm going to hold her bum for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little seat for her. Um, as you can see, I'm just holding on. There's nothing really holding her in here. So, I'm going to pull, for me, I know that this part's the middle, so about at the middle is where I'll kind of hold her bum, and then the rest, the bottom rest of the wrap, you want that to make a nice deep seat for her. So you're going to tuck that up in between the two of you. You want to go knee to knee so that you have a nice, a nice wide seat. So I have quite a bit of fabric tucked in between us. As you can see, it goes from knee to knee here. This part is spread over her back. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to tighten this. For younger babies, you can um, pull it up to their neck, uh, the back of their neck, and you can stick their arms inside. That's what I used to do, and they would fall asleep right away. At this age, they like to have their arms out. So I'm just going to do it up to the, underneath um, their armpits here. Her armpits here. I'm going to 
to tighten this. Now I'm going to hold her secure. Now I'm going to tighten the same for this side. Okay. Then I give it a little bounce. Make sure it's nice and tight. Now, if you were using a shorty, you would just tie under the bum. But I like to cross under, under the bum. Bring it under her leg. Same with this leg. And then, you have the two here. And then you put it under her legs at the back. And tie under this little bum back here. So it's nice and long so that I can do a double knot to it to do a little bounce to get it tight. So there we have the knot at the back. This is nice and tight here. So we've got two happy babies. Um, if you want, you can um, add even more support and you can um, spread out these two passes here. So the one that goes under, this one is over, this one is under. So I'm going to take this one first and I'm going to actually pull it up. And then this one goes up too. So then we have three pieces of fabric supporting her back and her bum. And now we're ready. Mommy's got her hands free and both babies are happy. Right girls?